It looks like Joey Logano has been so good at pushing, may end up winning. Oh, oh. crash in the back. At the strike, the win goes to Logano, and look at the carnage behind. behind. We have got one car on fly, fire. There's what's left of McMurray. Yeah, that was a big, big, hard crash. See parts laying everywhere. It's Mike Wallace. Got the winning it down. Two races in a row for him to get crashed on the very last lap. Oh, Murray, restrictor same plate. thing. Almirola was the car that was on fire. He gets out okay. There's Stephen Wallace, and he looks to be okay. That's what's left of Tony Stewart's car and Danica Patrick's. For Elliot Sadler, the disappointment has got to be immense. He led the most laps, 31. Not only does he not win the race, he doesn't win the $100,000 bonus. It's going to go to Reed Sorensen, who finished in third. Joey Logano. In these plate races, lately he has been the man who has pushed people to victory. He finally gets his first victory this year. Hell yeah, Nate Coda. Yes. Good job, awesome job. Fourth time this season that a driver has led only one lap in the race and won it. The other three by the Turner Motorsports Group. I feel good to see that again. Woo! That's Joey's father. High above the fray as he's got the headset on. There's Tom. There's a better look at him. What a wild finish to what has been an unbelievable race. 35 lead changes. We tied the record. Tony and Eric talking it over. Trying to dissect what happened. Let's run through the finishing order again for you. It was Logano with Jason Leffler having his best run of the year. There's Jamie McMurray disappointed. Sorensen finishes third, wins the dash for cash. There's Elliot Sadler talking. Kyle Busch comes across in fourth. Allgaier in fifth. Annette sixth. Sadler seventh. Almirola eighth. Patrick ninth. And Stephen Wallace tenth. And here, let's see what happened on this last lap crash. just the last lap of a race and you can see Mike Wallace kind of got separated he tried to block and pick up a little bit of air he and Danica got together and then that just created a big mess ain't seeing that many good race cars get torn up right at the finish heartbreak and remember for Joey Logano as we take another look at it he wins after starting at the rear of this field yeah and had to go back there again after having a spin on the back stretch and pitted too early had to go to the back of the pack then also there's another look at all the carnage, the flames on the 88. Let's go on board with Tony Stewart. Hold on. What's here now? Good outside here, outside. I'm surprised the camera held on. Here's Danica's view. Flames from Eric Almirola's car in front of her. Look at how it lit up the sky. Yeah. One more view and watch the 01. Yeah, this is where Mike Wallace goes up. Danica gets a little bit loose, and actually the 88 gets back into the left rear of Danica and turns her down into the 01. All right, so let's uh, check in on some of the guys that were involved in this. Uh, Stephen Wallace is with Mike Massaro. Yeah, he was uh, in the middle of it, Marty. His car, in fact, came to rest 